Hey everyone, welcome to the first video of 2024. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to create a search algorithm using Amazon Kendra to help you rank a list of documents that's relevant to your question. So let's turn our attention to the screen. Some of my classmates are getting ready for the final exam. So I thought to use this as a use case to demonstrate the use case of this kind of architecture. So for example, you're going through your exam, and here's an e-com practice problem. Problem number one is about taxi cab example, right? Uh, perhaps I remember taxi cab, but I don't really remember that's where the document is, right? So let's use as a use case, and then let's check out ground truth. In this case, I know that this example come from the PDF document questions, L6 to L9 plus answers.pdf. So let's try to use this highlighted text as a search query. Let's see if the algorithm give us the right document. So let's go to our app. Here, I already coded it like this. Let's enter our answer here. That's the question we want to ask, right? Because we don't know where the document's coming from. So we hit submit, and then boom, there you go. It gives you two responses. The first response is the raw output from the algorithm. And then the second response is the tabular form, just to look a little bit nicer, right? And then boom, here you go. That's the right document. Uh, I save it in this bucket called Lars33801. And the right document is exactly here. Questions L6 to L9 plus answers. And then there are a couple of texts here. That's what the algorithm believe that's highly relevant to my question. So there you go. That is the use case. I thought that's something interesting to show you guys. In addition, and to the rest of the video, I'm going to show you guys a little bit technical walkthrough to demonstrate how to design and build this infrastructure. So here's a system diagram. User can, of course, upload data. It's an S3 bucket. You can upload PDF to an S3 bucket. Now, there's an administrator, obviously, to monitor or approve the files, the document in that bucket. And that serves as data source, which can allow you to build your Kendra index. And then you can use that to back up your RAG algorithm. And here, RAG is standing for Retrieval Augmented Generation. So this particular video is talking about just this Kendra index building block. So that's the idea, right? How do we do it? We do it on AWS. So here is my AWS console. I am now looking at the Lambda function. And in the Lambda function, first off, we have code. This code is where the Kendra client is being called and where the function passing the user query. So all the magic happens in here. Uh, and then of course you have to extract the content, right? Otherwise you see a, a huge chunk of a JSON file that you don't even know how to read it. Uh, so you parse the content uh, and then you return it as some sort of HTTP body, right? And the reason we do this is because we want to create a get request using API Gateway. So of course, that's how we interact with this Lambda function, right? You gotta stand up some sort of API. That's the API I already created, that's the endpoint, and here it's a get request. So there you go, that's how the API is stood up, and that's what the function is doing. Now let's go to how I wire the app together, right? So let's go to my Streamly application, that's the function. In this function, I have a invoke URL, I have a user query, and this request method is gonna send the full URL along with the user query using that API that pointing to that Lambda function. And then that's gonna give you some sort of response back. You extract the text, boom, there you go. That is the output that you can work with. So then in the end, I have this chunk of code here to actually call that function, invoke that API, get the response back and display it on the screen in some sort of table using Panda data frame. So there you go. Hope you like it. Hopefully this makes sense and this gives you some idea of how engineers wire the system together. And I believe this can be an important building block for you to build intelligent document processing system. And I believe Kendra can be a good building block inside of that system to help you rank documents, to query documents, and so on and so forth. Specifically, 
In this case, it gives you that particular ID of that PDF document in your database. So there you go. Hopefully this is a helpful episode to, to kick off generative AI in 2024. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.